If you like movies, check out my movie review channel. Every single movie title you see on the screen, I have a video about coming out within the next two weeks. I'm uploading a video every day for two weeks, so uh, definitely make sure you're subscribed there. The link is in the description below. I got some other stuff on there too, some like breakdowns of certain scenes I like and things like that, so check it out. Let's talk some special teams, why don't we? Love talking special teams. Let's talk about who has the advantage in this special teams matchup, both with the, uh, you know, punt returns and also the, uh, you know, field goals in general. Let's just get into it. All right, so first things first, let's start off with the kickers and Harrison Butker and Jake Elliott, two of the better kickers we've had since Elliott has entered the league just, you know, uh, in 2017, actually, when the Eagles last won the Super Bowl. Although this year, Harrison Butker has had a bad season. There's no getting around it. I mean, his uh, 75 kicking percentage, those are the two stats, is kicking percentage and point after percentage. Uh, his 75, that's well below what we expect from Harrison Butker. That's where things get interesting. He's a career 88.2 field goal percentage guy, and he's never really had a season like this before. I did put an asterisk on it, which is that his field goal percentage is 88% if you talk about under 50, which is still right around what Elliott is doing, period. It's really been the over 50 that he's three for seven on the year over 50. So that's probably what the factor is and why his percentage is lower. I would still expect Harrison Butker to make a key field goal if he's in the situation, but I think you have to give a slight edge to Jake Elliott right now, right? His percentage is better. His point after percentage is better. He's been having a really good season for them, and, you know, he's definitely someone who we've seen make some clutch kicks as well. That kick at the end of the last time they won the Super Bowl was very clutch, putting them up uh, against the Patriots by eight instead of by five and saving them some field position as well. We also all remember that 61 yarder against the Giants. That was a regular season game, but still, again, you trust both of these guys in a situation, but you got to give a slight edge to Elliott. Heading over to the punters, though, this is where things get a little bit more interesting if you're like me and care about this stuff, which I'm assuming you are if you clicked on this video, which, you know, thanks for clicking on a special teams video. Uh, this is the punters, and there is a pretty significant drop off here. This is net uh, yards per punt. So this is not just how far are you punting it, but basically when you punt it, where the player gets tackled, how many yards down the field did you get the ball on average. And what's worth mentioning is that I have the Eagles punters on the top. Uh, Aaron Sippos, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, was having an okay season with 39.5 uh, net uh, punt yards per punt. However, he went down with an injury and Brett Kern took over. Now, here's again, uh, the fascinating thing is Brett Kern came in, has performed significantly worse, about three yards per punt worse. So that is notable for sure. Sippos says he's ready to go for the Super Bowl. He's going to play. But how healthy is he? And is there a chance that if he's not fully healthy and if he's banged up a little bit, it would concern me if he maybe he shanks one or something. Maybe you just put, if he's not fully healthy, I just put Kern out there. I don't want to risk the horrible thing happening. I'll take the three yard loss to just guarantee that there's no disaster is kind of the way I view it in this scenario. I don't know, though. It's just a very fascinating uh, situation. Tommy Townsend, uh, and again, these are special team stats. These aren't just punter stats. You got to give credit to the Gunners and everyone on the team. But, uh, you know, Tommy Townsend and his Chiefs punting unit been very good. 45.6 net yards per punt is incredible. Very good stuff by them. So definitely the punters are advantage Chiefs. However, for the returners, this is again going to be advantage uh, Eagles. As one thing worth noting is there's injuries here as well. Kadarius Tony is typically their return man. He's averaged 6.1 yards per return. Sky Moore replaced Tony. Sky Moore is their backup in that regard. He has the exact same amount of yards per return. So so maybe not a massive drop off whoever is playing. But again, maybe Kadarius Tony tries to tough it out, but isn't fully healthy and it makes him worse. I don't know. Uh, Britton Convoy, though, for the Eagles has been very good when he has been returning punts. 9.3 yards per return. So while it seems like pretty massive advantage in terms of how the, uh, you know, the Chiefs punt the ball. The reality is the Eagles have a pretty massive advantage in how they return the ball. So while it's still a slight edge, Chiefs, I would say, in terms of the punting, not a massive edge. So for my uh, scoreboard here, this is if you're interested in some of the other vi uh, things on this list, check out uh, my videos on that specific 
thing. It is on, you know, they're all on this channel already. Uh, special teams, though, on a scale of one to four, I'm giving advantage Philadelphia, and I'm giving it a plus two. Why am I doing that? Because I think that the uh, field goal game matters a lot more than the punting game. I mean, if you could make one more field goal than your opponent in that situation, that's three points. Like, that's pretty significant, and that definitely, again, you know, uh, three points, according to Vegas, would be the difference in winning or losing this game right now. So, being able to make an extra field goal could be potentially huge. Again, the concern as well is, could there be like a shanked punt by one of these Eagles punters if, you know, if Sippos isn't fully healthy? Maybe that happens. I don't know, though. I don't, I don't think I can fully say that that's, there's a realistic chance of that happening. Maybe if it was just kickers, I might, I don't know. I, I think I would still go plus two for the Eagles either way there. Because again, the Harrison Butker thing is just so fascinating to me. I just try Harrison Bucker. I do. I think Harrison Bucker at the, you know, he's had a, uh, not the best season, but he's had such a good career. And like, even, you know, he made that field goal to send them to the Super Bowl this, uh, this year. So I don't know. He's someone who has been clutch over the course of his career. He's typically been pretty good at the 50 plus yards down the field stuff over the course of his career. The, the previous worst season he had was three for six. This is three for seven. Now, he's also missed three extra points this year, which is, you know, uh, that's uh, definitely uh, not ideal. And in fact, extra points over the course of his career, he has not been as dominant as as you might think. Now, plays for the Chiefs, has to kick a lot of them, which is part of the part of the issue. But still, uh, a career, uh, you know, 93.8 extra point percentage guy, someone who has had seasons where in 2020, he missed six extra points and typically misses multiple extra points uh, a year. So maybe there's a way that he, you know, for, maybe that's the edge you have for the uh, Eagles as Elliott's been nearly perfect on extra points this season. But as a whole, it just, I don't know. Uh, it's fascinating to see how the stuff will come up. It's one of those things where we preview it and a lot of people sort of say, ah, eh, it's special teams. What does it matter? But in one game, it could be a big difference. In one game, if something goes very wrong or very right for uh, a team, that can be the, the swing in a football game. And we've seen it happen before. We absolutely have. But yeah, that's what I think of all this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, Thanks for watching.